Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Tressler, and digital dementia is becoming the fastest growing health crisis in America right now. Digital dementia is the, the amount of hours we spend on screen time. For kids age 8 to 18, it's seven and a half hours. Adults, it's over 10 and a half hours. What happens is not only are we staring at a screen, but we have what's called forward head posture. Our head is being pushed forward. Puts tremendous strain on the muscles, ligaments, and tendons, also the spinal cord and brain stem. We are already in a health crisis right now. Our kids' health under age 18, 54% have a chronic health condition. 50% have asthma or allergies, 27% headaches or migraines, and 33% are overweight or obese. Digital dimension forward head posture are only going to magnify these results and continue to accelerate the disease process. As we get into this forward head posture, because it strains our muscles and our spine so bad, 63% are having back pain, 53% have neck pain, and 33% have shoulder pain. The reason this is, is your brain is sending energy back and forth through your spinal cord, and that spinal nutrition is cerebral spinal fluid. Roger Speary, a medical doctor, neurobi neurobiologist, said that 90% of the brain's stimulation and nutrition come from movement of the spine. When the spine is in this forward head position, it gets locked out of alignment and stuck, so it doesn't move properly. So we're losing nutrition and healing to the brain. Forward head posture and inactivity, we have a 64% increase in heart disease. This is our children. 112% increase in diabetes and a 27% increase in depression or anxiety. And these diseases are already developing in our kids. So this is how this works. Your brain is sending energy through the spinal cord, out these nerves to your, down your arms. That's why we get carpal tunnel when we're locked out of position. Down your legs, like sciatic pain. They go to your muscles, low back, neck pain, shoulder pain. But they also go to all the internal organs. When the spine should be upright and tall, the energy can be uh, pushed through that, that spinal cord quite easily. When we get into forward head posture, a normal upright spine becomes jutted forward. And what happens is the spinal cord and the nerve system get blocked. The muscles and ligaments and tendons get extremely tight. And over a period of time, we start to develop what's called forward head posture, where the ear should sit over the shoulder, is now in front of the shoulder. And this is blocking energy to and from the brain to the body, accelerating the crisis of disease and we're, that we are already in. Our job in our office and what we're here to do is not only educate and make this aware, the community aware of this problem, but now we need to start correcting it. We can't allow our kids to continue to sit in classrooms or sit at home with this type of posture because it's going to accelerate the disease process at a very early age. In fact, digital dementia is, the statistics now say that 15% of future dementia problems are going to be related to this forward head posture and screen time. This is unacceptable. We need to change it. So on our part, we're getting out to the schools. We're working with many schools in our community, working in the classroom, working with the teachers to start implementing strategies that are quite easy to start changing this process. On my webpage here, you can see there's many strategies. Start to implement them. And also, we will come out to your school, come out to your classroom and your com in your community and do the same talk. It's about a 30-minute talk for free. Our goal is to not only make this aware, but we need to start changing this. I hope to hear from you. Just click below and respond. Send me an email, and we will get back to you, and we look forward to helping you.